Have you ever woke up in the morning and then started your day and had one of those days where nothing seemed to go your way? Family arguing with you. Friends mad at you for no reason. You didn't have enough money to buy this or buy that. Something you really wanted and you can't get it. It seemed like the whole world was against you. Then you got on your knees and prayed and you seen how things started to change. Your friends apologized. You got a financial blessing at the end of the day. You heard the Lord's voice talking to you, saying, fret not, I am with you. I am always with you. Your family made up with you and apologized. That's just showing you that sometimes what we go through, it's always going to be a blessing in the end, no matter what we go through. We just got to stand strong in Christ and stand strong in our faith and believe that he will bring us out of anything that this world, including family members, including friends, including your finances, is putting you to. So don't worry about anything. Just keep your faith. Stay strong. And always remember to pray. I dare you to pray in the middle of your storm. The Lord will bring you out of it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm speaking from experience. Because it's been a lot of days where I just wanted to give up. Things ain't going my way. I'm spoiled. And then the, uh, uh, all that um, stuff that I go through all day, and then I, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pray to the Lord about it. And things changed. My finances changed. Friendships changed. Family changed. You know what I'm saying? And when they see that faith in you, it's going to rub off on them. I'm going to give you a good example. I live with my son and my granddaughter, his daughter. Before we even lived here in this residence, we lived at another residence. But when he moved in, he used to leave his granddaughter. He used to leave his daughter with me all the time, all the time, every day, all the time. And I'm like, I didn't say nothing about it because that's just how I am. I washed her, I babysitted her. One time I came home, she was in here by herself. I'm like, now that I did talk to him about. He said I won't do it anymore. But he was leaving me with her. I was like, okay, it would cut down on my on my evangelism days because I couldn't go out. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm watching her, I couldn't go out. And this was constantly. After school, I would take her to school I would pick her up from school. She's with me. She was with me 24-7. I'm like, okay, I can't, I can't do what I, what I want to do. I can't go out and preach. I can't evangelize. I can't even go around to the corner to the market, which is right next door to me. And then me and Wiley, that's her name, my granddaughter, we started bonding. We was like, I was treating her like my little, my little daughter, you know. And after a while, he seen what was going on with us. She was like, we was bonding, we was like one. He didn't like that. So now he changed. He takes her with him everywhere now. Takes her to his job. If she got no school, she goes with him to his job. Uh, 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 He picks her up from school. He takes her to school. He takes her everywhere he goes now. He does not want her to be with me anymore because he he saw the bond that me and her had and that's what he wanted with his daughter, with his own daughter. So what I'm saying is everything you do will rub off on somebody. That love that I was giving her and that bond that we had together he realized that that's something that he should be having with his daughter. Now, I got all the free time in the world. I got all the free time in the world. I can go out and do what I want now. 
because God used me as an example to show him what he should be doing. Amen. The reason I'm whispering this, I don't want him to hear this conversation that I'm having with you guys because, you know, he might be right there in the kitchen. Anyway, God will use you in remarkable ways. He will use you in remarkable ways. He used a mule to talk to the disbeliever, a mule. So God can use anybody at any given time on any given Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Yeah. Amen. I hope this inspires somebody. Y'all have a blessed day. And stay blessed. And thanks for watching. You got me.